Hello, welcome back to the Renson's Yard. Today, we're dealing with that. As you can see, it's currently held together with zip ties, self-tapping screws, rivets, and the original plastic clips but most of them are broken or missing. So we're gonna take the whole thing off and just start over. As you can see down here, on the one side the bumper support is completely gone and on the other side it's still there but it's not really holding anything. So, if you're looking for an aggressive look, well that's aggressive alright. And on this side, you can see the hole where the tires have rubbed through. Yeah, our best bet would probably be to cut about at this line, right across. Same thing on both sides, and then just match that up to the bumper. Looking at it from this side, the line that we saw earlier is about here which would come about to the middle of the fog light which means if I cut it there it's going to look a bit ridiculous but I'm like can I cut it here but the metal part of the bumper and the foam insert come down further down than that in fact all the way down here so I might have to cut it here just to the top of the fog light and around this way and then cut that wherever it happens to, to end. 
There we go. All done. But there's another thing I'd like to do. That skid plate right there is made out of plastic, so I'd like to replace it with a metal one that would be longer and go all the way up to where the bumper ends, just for the extra protection. But that's not a project for today, because clearly Mother Nature isn't cooperating. Guess you'll have to stick around for part two. Thanks for watching.